Hello, let's walk through the final exam study guide for Math 533. Uh, here, first question, how do you calculate and interpret range, mean, and standard deviation? Well, the first thing you want to do is go to uh, many tabs, um, input your data. Here I have um, test scores. I'll go to stat, basic statistics. You can go either to display descriptive statistics or graphical summary. Uh, we'll just go to graphical summary. Um, double click, make sure your cursor is in variables. Double click your data. Um, click OK. Here we're given an actual output of the data. Um, your mean is 77.6, standard deviation is 18.963, so forth and so on. First quartile um, median is the second quartile, and your third quartile. Um, between your your lowest number minimum and the first quartile is 25 percent of the data remember that that's how this um, box and whisker works here between the the minimum and the first quartile is 25 percent between the first quartile and the second quartile is 25 percent as well so that's how it works with quartiles so if you need to describe quartile that's how that works um, remember if the mean is larger than the median we're gonna we're gonna say that the data is skewed right so let's look at our mean 77.6 our median is 83 so it looks like the mean is not larger so this data is somewhat skewed left and in just looking at the data it does look like it's somewhat skewed left but that's why it's better to actually look at the mean and median to compare those to determine whether it's skewed right or left. Um, when looking at the standard deviation, your standard deviation simply represents the spread of the data. The larger the standard deviation, the larger the spread. Um, smaller standard deviation, so if you had a standard deviation of zero, all your values are the same. That's basically how standard deviation works. Um, if you went one standard deviation to the right or to the left of the mean, that represents 68.26% um, um, of the data. That's the empirical rule. If you go two standard deviations, 95.44. If you go three standard deviations, 99.73% of the data. And that's how to describe your data um, using the empirical rule. Uh, let's go back to the study guide. And really that's it for question number one. Just make sure you understand all the different terms. Range is just the largest value minus the smallest value. And that's probably also on the output, but that's pretty simple to, to walk through. Just make sure you understand it. Okay. Uh, problem number two is a contingency table. Here we have a survey, probably from a restaurant. And this is a survey that um, shows those who um, prefer chicken, prefer hamburger, maybe prefer both, okay? Um, here the question is, what is the probability of selecting an adult that prefers chicken? An adult that prefers chicken. So we're really saying an adult and they prefer chicken. So I have adult here, this column, chicken here. So it's going to be 60 out of 200, and then you reduce that to 0.3. Um, the next one was a probably of selecting an adult or someone that prefers chicken. Or is your um, your adding? But you got to remember we we will double count in this situation. So here we have an adult or someone that prefers chicken. So really, it's this total, which is 125, and this total, which is 80. But we double counted the 60. So we got to add those two, 80 plus 125 minus 60, which we have here, and then divide by 200, which will be, and if you reduce all this down, you'll have 0.725 as your probability. Um, something to note in this problem, if they give you a question that says, given that the individual prefers chicken, or given that the individual is a child, that will change your sample space. Um, okay, um, here's a problem. I just typed it real quick. Given the, that the individual is a child, was a probability that he or she prefers chicken? Your sample space will change, so that one will be 20 out of 75, and then you simply reduce it.